This first connection would be possible with the old code because there's a line of sight between the two connectors. The wire would go through the scaffolding though, which is why the new code does not allow it. The second connection is exactly the opposite. The, the line of sight is obstructed, but the wire can just go beneath the obstruction and it will go beneath the obstruction with the normal rendering. So the connection can just be placed. And as you can see, there isn't anything obstructing the wire, even though the old code would not have allowed this connection. And if we place a block in the wire, it will break the connection. The skyhook can now be used to hop onto the middle of a connection rather than just the endpoints. Wires connected to an energy source will cause damage to entities now, just as they would in real life. I'll demonstrate this with a zombie that wants to attack the villager. Yeah. It draws energy from the wires, as you could see, because the light was flickering. And, well, if I disconnect it through the breaker, I can just walk through the I don't know why the connection looks funky on the transform, I don't think that's my fault. Yeah.